We're here with Jill Robertson, the RCN student advisor. We're here to get her thoughts and opinions on being a student nurse. Jill, thank you very much for taking the time to talk to us. So Jill, can you tell us a little about what attracted you personally to the nursing profession? Oh, I think I was first attracted to my nurse training because I was working as a care assistant um, from the ripe old age of 15, um, working with a very busy um, care of the elderly ward. And it kind of opened my eyes to what caring was all about. Um, people are very vulnerable. Um, a bit fragile and you're there at a time that actually matters to them, that's very important to them when perhaps nobody else is around, particularly in care of the elderly, nobody else is around to look after people and I think it's a real privilege to work with people at that time in their lives in particular but at any time because people go into hospital, they're frightened, they're scared and you're the one there that makes that difference. So what kind of major changes have you seen in the nursing profession throughout your career? Oh, I think healthcare has changed um, a great deal for the better. Technology and all the things that we can now do has made patient care um, much more complex, and that has changed nursing care, but actually has also improved longevity and the way people function. But nursing, I mean, nursing is different wherever you go in the world. I've been fortunate enough to go to India and indeed to Iraq to work with refugees, which is very basic nursing. Um, you're looking after, in Iraq particularly, tiny babies who perhaps had meningitis or illnesses and it was very, very basic public health nursing. Um, and you can go straight from that right into intensive care units, to acute sector. My background is district nursing, um, which meant I was out and about in people's homes where I was the guest in their home. That changes how you nurse people as well. So there's lots and lots of aspects of nursing that I think just make it a great career. What would you say are the best and worst aspects of being a student nurse in 2010? I think the best aspect of being a student nurse is that you're just about to embark on a career that can take you almost anywhere in the world. Um, nursing, we will always need nurses. Wherever they're working, whether that's community, acute setting, we will always have to have nurses and that's quite exciting. So I think that's one of the best things. One of the hardest things, this is not an easy course, it is um, it really functions over 365 days a year. You have about four weeks holiday. And while your other college and university students perhaps get the long summer holidays in Easter, you won't. You'll be in actually in placement and working with patients over that time. So that can get quite hard, just juggling all the things that you need to juggle. What do student nurses say are the most enjoyable and fulfilling aspects of their training? I think most student nurses come into training with a view to helping people at some form. Most people have either nursed a relative or have some idea about what it's about. So for them, the most fulfilling and the most exciting things um, are in fact when they get out on the wards and see patients and start to look after people. And that for them is, is what it's all about, really. And what would you say are the most challenging aspects of their training? Oh, I think almost the same thing as the reason they come in. The first time you go onto a ward to actually work with patients and with people who can be very vulnerable, scared, frightened, angry sometimes, that can be extremely challenging. The first time um, somebody dies is very challenging because you're forced to look at yourself and what you believe and all the rest. And what do student nurses say are the hardest aspects of their training? Um, I think it's the hardest things I think for them are that getting the balance between all the academic work they have to do um, which is quite considerable. They have to do 2,300 hours over the three years of academic, but they also have to do 2,300 hours of practice. And getting that balance right is, is quite hard, particularly um, the average age of a student nurse is about 30. So many of the student nurses have families, trying to balance a family, getting kids out to school, getting yourself to placement, getting yourself to university can be quite difficult. So as the RCN student advisor, what would you say are the most common concerns that you hear from students? Um, I think the most common concern I hear about is money. Um, students struggle to live on the bursary they get and obviously as the RCN we're aware of that and we're constantly petitioning to get um, an adequate um, amount of money for students to live on. But the other thing that concerns nurses is when they perhaps go into placement and see care that they don't think is up to scratch or that they don't think is correct about what they actually do about that because they're based on that unit, they're getting marked on that placement. They don't want to rock the boats, but they do want to be seen to be doing the best they can. And how would you advise them about these issues? Um, about money, well, as I say, we, continue to, we do continue to campaign for more money for them. I think it's always worth them 
it's always worth students, I think, at the beginning of their course, just writing down what their income is and what their outgoings are and making sure they balance origi originally, making sure that if they're going to splurge on something, they're actually going to be able to afford that. Um, and it's trying to just make, keep people aware of money because it becomes a big issue very quickly. And if you're struggling badly, then, of course, your academic studies are affected by that. Also, uh, students often have second jobs, we would try and encourage them not to have second and third jobs because life just gets much too difficult. In terms of the placement um, issue and about concerns about practice, then it's always worth getting students to talk to either their practice placement um, facilitator or one of their lecturers. They need to ha raise these issues. Occasionally students are worried about witnessing bad practice on their placements. What advice can you give to them? Yes, yeah, so often students get in touch with me to say that they've gone on to a new placement and the practices or the things that they've seen are concerning them. I think my advice has to be and always is, is that you do need to speak to either the nurse that you saw or indeed the ward sister. Um, if they're not around, then to your mentor or to your practice placement facilitator. It is important that these issues are raised. Sometimes there's a perfectly good explanation for what you may not yet understand and that's fine. But if you've gone onto the ward with kind of a new pair of eyes and you see something that doesn't look right, it's certainly worth raising that. If all else fails and you really can't or are not comfortable speaking to somebody, then I would advise that they call RCN Direct um, on 0345 772 6100 and talk to our um, advice line there. If they can't answer the question, they'll pass it on to somebody who can help. Many student nurses find they must work and study during their training. So how do students balance their work, study and leisure time? I think balancing work, study and leisure is extremely difficult um, because it is a full-time course, they're in university for the full week and then they go on to placement and are working shifts. It doesn't leave a lot of time for leisure, particularly if, as we talked about, the money issue is a problem and you're having to have a second job. I think they just need to be very clear what their priorities are. Um, obviously it has to be family first and then it has to be their nursing course and it's tough for three years but they will get through lots of people juggle that course um, I'm amazed at some of them and to be honest it, it, it's just keeping an eye on it trying not to get too bogged down by everything that's going on and finding some time for yourself. So Jill how should student nurses get the most out of their work placements? I think students when they go on to placement need to find their mentors very quickly and sit down with them and work out what their objectives and their aims actually are for that placement. Students technically are supernumerary, they're addition to the staff but that doesn't mean they have to hang back and not do anything. They should be actively involved in, in the patient care um, and working alongside patients and alongside the nursing staff and that way they'll get the best out of what they're doing. So how can students use their placements to improve their employment prospects? I think work placements for students can always Im Im improve your employment prospects. I think, you know, if you've got a good placement with a mentor you really worked with well with and enjoyed, then that's always somebody to keep, particularly as a referee later. But it might be the area you decide you want to go and work in. Most people come into nursing courses with an idea about what they want. That may have changed radically by the end of the three years. So if you've got a good placement, remember it. Go back and see them, see if they're looking for staff at the end of it. So, Jill, most students will be studying for a diploma, yet the requirement for entry to register will be in the process of change by the time they complete. How can they best manage this transition for themselves? The issue about moving to um, the degree profession has concerned a number of students who are doing the diploma course. However, I think it's, it's worth emphasising that the diploma still will bring you out with a registered nurse qualification, and that's the qualification you need to get um, to be able to work as a nurse. The degree is important and I think like in any other job, once you start to move up the career ladder people look for um, a degree, they look for graduates. I, I think my advice on that would be that if you can top up to a degree as soon as possible then you're still in the study mode, you're still used to writing assignments. Going back to do it later in life is much more difficult. You almost certainly will have to do it in your own time and possibly with your own money. So if you're able to go back at the end of your diploma course and top up to a degree, then I would suggest people do that as soon as possible. What advice would you give to student nurses beginning their career this academic year? Oh, I think if I were to give any advice to student nurses beginning this year, it would be that um, they need to work out in advance what kind of time they're going to need to spend on assignments, what kind of time they will be spending on placements, and to work out that diary, if you like, in, in advance. Um, assignments being put in at the last minute are never a good idea, but it's very much human nature to do so. Um, and I think 
above all, enjoy. It's not an easy course. It will tax people. It will challenge you. But actually, it brings you to one of the best careers in the world and a career that can take you all over the world. Well, that was great, Jill. Thank you very much for taking the time out of your busy schedule to talk.